The Little Red Hen The Little Red Hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said. I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anyone have a pizza pan? Not I, said Duck. Not I, said Dog. Not I, said Cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam, and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant. But no flour. Clock, she said. I need flour. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. Who will run to the store and get me some flour? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Clock, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese. But no mozzarella. So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So the little red hen went to the deli. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and folded it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it on her pizza pan. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven 
and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anyone like some pizza? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? Yes. But the cat scraped most of the topping off his share, and when the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? Yes. They each said, I will, I will, I will. Thanks, yes. Mm -hmm. End 